You were in your house when the tornado hit last night or yesterday? Yes, sir, I was, yes. So what was it like? Tell me about it. Well, my first experience with one, it was this one, and it's everything they tell you. It sounds like a train coming through your house. There's a roar, the wind picking up, it got dark. And, you know, it, I'm, I'm sure it was real quick, but it seemed like it lasted longer. You know, probably 30 seconds, if that. And, uh... I didn't. I didn't move when I when I saw the darkness and that, and that roar. That that roar. That you felt the house shaking almost. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. I've never, never experienced that. Where were you in the house when it happened? In the corner. Right in right that corner bedroom. And I didn't want to even look out a window, afraid that some projectile or something might come flying through there. This was what once was a pole barn. Good sized, sturdy pole barn. As you can see right here, it snapped up. One of the poles, that, that's what it did to all the others as well. Yeah, and there was a structure here which has disappeared. Consider yourself lucky? Very lucky. Very lucky. I mean, I was I was somewhat paralyzed when that freight train came through. And because that's when it, when it hit me, I knew it was a tornado at that moment. And uh, once it all passed, got up, looked outside, couldn't open one of the doors with all the debris piled up on What'd your mom say? Well, I waited for her to wake up and get up probably about 45 minutes to an hour later. And it was like not another morning to her, <laughs> you know? And I said, look out the uh, front door. And she stood there and tried to look out, couldn't see too good, so she opened it. And she's going, what happened? And she slept through the entire thing. I go, tornado.